Elite Four. Let's do this. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. Soul Lair to examine the gym badges you've gathered from Sinnoh. Order of City's Cold Badge. Eternity City's Force Badge. Hard Home City's Relic Badge. Veilstone City's Cobble Badge. Pastoria City's Fen Badge. That's a thumb, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Kenilave City's Mine Badge. Snow Point City's Icicle Badge. Sunny Shore, Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. Very well. Trainer, you have indeed collected all of the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. And now, we will do just that. Our team is nice and level 75 because we grinded off screen and we also taught Crobat Hurricane and took Rock Climb off for Blizzard. It's time. Let's do this. Our first Elite Four member. A familiar face. Bun, you made it! Welcome to the Pokemon League! As I said before, I love bug Pokemon. They're nasty mean, but beautiful. Would you like to know why I take our challenges here? It's because I want to become the perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Show me how you've grown. Elite 4 Battle number 1, Aaron, the Bug Boy. We got our arses whooped by him back before hard home, but this time it will be different. Venomoth coming out first. Crobat will be leading off with our flying type moves. We should have an easy time. Then again, that's what we said last time, but we're stronger now. Psychic type will not hit us because we are in the air. Crobat will land a fly. Let's see how much we do. We Wipe the Venomoth off the screen. Simple, simple. Armaldo is up next. I don't remember what type this is, but I'm pretty sure it's like Rock Bug. I want to say Rock Bug. Let me double check real quick. Bug Rock, yes, sir. Alright, um. I'm gonna go for Metagross here to use a Steel type move to hit the Bug type, or the Rock type, I mean. I, for some reason, I feel like it's gonna have like a Fighting type move, but I don't know that for sure, so we're just gonna hope it doesn't. And go for Meteor Mash. We outspeed. Perfect. Boom. Super effective. However, I think it's a defensive Pokemon, so we might not take it out in one shot. JK, we will. Easy! We're going smooth so far, fellas. But I'm not jinxing myself. I am keeping a smart head here, as we have our pincer coming out next. So we're going to go back out into Crobat for that. Pincer will come back out. 71. I want to check and see what... Accuracy Hurricane has 70. I'm just gonna go for a safe play and go for a fly here. Stone Edge would hurt if it hits, so I'm hoping this takes it out. And it lives on 1 HP doesn't unfortunately miss the stone edge, and we're going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, oh, we're whirling it on three! Oh, that was so lucky, but we're probably going to get a heal here. So what we're going to do is we're going to leech life, because we know a fly will take it out even with the slightest amount of damage. 
So you heal all you want. You burn those heals up so we don't have to deal with it next time. For another Pokemon. We try to get a decent amount, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna fly high in the sky and take this boy out. Just like that. Obviously, we are more prepared for this battle than back then, because obviously we have Pokemon we do now. But I'm pretty sure this guy had a Drapion, and that I think is what was kicking our ass, so we are going to go in super, super cautious. Drapion is here, slightly higher level. I want to see, was this his main? I don't remember. Either way, we're in an earthquake and we do have speed. Garchomp is, has a lot of power behind it, so this should take it out one shot, and sure enough, it does. Honestly, it's just the super bug types are easy to take out. Fortress is up next. Fortress is an annoying Pokemon, so we will keep Garchomp in there to hopefully keep up. Earthquake, we outspeed. It doesn't go for Protect. That is great. Although it is a defensive Pokemon, we might not take it out. It might live on a red. But we are hoping. We, it didn't even put it in half. Wow, and we get Toxic Spikes. Oh great, it's one of these Pokemon. Leftovers, Toxic Spikes, Defense, that's great, I'm happy. We're gonna go for the Outrage and we're gonna dish out some more damage hopefully here. As long as it does more than half- oh. Yeah, that's not gonna take it out. Thankfully, the Toxic Spikes are coming in when there's not a lot of Pokemon left, so we don't have to worry about too many Pokemon being poisoned. I'm gonna just rank, I'm just gonna bank on a crit here with the outrage. Hopefully that'll take it out. Let's see, yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna. But wait, it, you, is it gonna take damage from rough skin? Oh, I just need to do a little more. Not good. I honestly think he's gonna heal here. So I'm gonna try to dragon claw. Yeah, damn it, I should have. I should have swapped while I had the chance. Because I'm gonna hurt myself if I do. I don't know what I want to. I wish I, I should have. A fire type would have just blown this thing out of the water. I'm gonna try outrage one more time because we snap out of confusion. That's good. But when my outrage hits in second, once my outrage is done, I'm gonna swap. not doing enough. But we are healing. The thing is, though, it's taking damage from recoil. Well, I mean, from rough skin, but it's going to gain it right back with the leftovers. One crit would be perfect, dude. Looks like we'll be able to get off another Outrage because we didn't get confused yet. Maybe, actually. Gyro Ball? That's not gonna do much. JK, it did like 50. What the hell? Actually, an Outrage... I'm gonna get three Outrages off and I'm actually gonna take it out, I think. Hopefully. Grinding like that definitely helped. If I didn't grind, dude... Actually, you know what? If it uses an attack, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna die to rough skin. That's good. Yes, good, 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 good. good. So 
that should be one last Pokemon, and it is Scyther. So we will go into... I'm just gonna go into Crobat because I think I'm gonna outspeed the Scyther, even with a Crobat. Or do I go for Hurricane? No, I can fly though. No, I don't. Quick attack. Oh, you asshole. That's not good. Um. I'm gonna go out to Napoleon. I'm just gonna hit it with some water types because I don't think it's gonna do much to Napoleon anyway. Aerial Ace, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, we win this one, I think, easily. You don't want to heal. Yes. Well, that's one Elite Four member down. Only lost one Pokemon and took a lot of damage with Garchomp and Napoleon, but that's good. We did it, Dada. Nice. I will now concede defeat. But I think you came to see how great Bug Time Pokemon can be. Yes. We did, boys. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the boat Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it from me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on in the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than they need. Are they now? Unfortunately, he is right. So we will heal up. Speed up the heelsies real quick. Next, we have... Agatha. JK, it's not Agatha. I am stupid. Oh. We're gonna lead with a pony on here. here. Bertha bears a striking resemblance to Agatha from the first games. Sandstream that gets whipped up already, so we have to deal with the sandstorm. That is unfortunate, but we have water types. We have surf. So let's see what will happen. The Powdon does have some beef behind it, so this is probably not going to take out number one. Actually, it might. And it does! With a crit, let's go. The Sandstorm rages on. We have it one down. Torterra comes out next. Oh boy. We're gonna have to go into Crobat here. My team does counter a lot, but it doesn't counter most of the like, common types of this game. It's weird. Alright. I'm gonna actually balls off here and go for Hurricane, see if we hit. We do hit, that's good. Hurricane's powerful, we have Stab behind us, Torterra may be bulky, but we don't quite take it out, and we're gonna get... Oh, we're gonna get smacked by this. 
it's not stabbed, so it might not take it out. What's the opposite of Maybe? Good. Nice. The only bad thing is, is we have sandstorm damage. This might take it out of the red. No, it doesn't. I I'm glad that this has leftovers, too. While you're gonna heal, we're gonna poison Fang and hopefully get the poison off. Try for another hurricane. Another hurricane would take it out. We just have to hit, and we do hit. Good. We could get lucky with that accuracy. There's been some times where it doesn't work out, but we're gonna be... we'll be fine. I think. Good. Two down. There we go. Barely alive, but we have a pseudo Wudo coming out. I'm actually gonna go in the guard shop here because I feel like pseudo Wudo has like a grass type move that would body and Pokemon. So we're gonna keep guard shop out here to have some power and be able to evade the sandstorm damage, given that we are a ground type. Earthquake, that's a storm. See, that would have hurt Empoleon more than Garchomp. And it does take recoil damage and rough skin. That, you know, just took rough skin. I forgot what hammer is in recoil. You're not gonna heal, so that's good because you wasted the heal already. Using those early heals is perfect for battles like this. Taking damage, which is great. Camerupt is coming next. So we're gonna stay in here and actually I could have I probably should have went out to Empoleon to do maximum damage. That's fine. Get a Focus Sash camera right here, boys. Use a physical attack on me, you'll be done for. Just do it. Earth Power is... Actually, I think Earth Power is physical. Is it physical? No, it's not. I thought it was physical. Earthquake is, but not. We are running smooth for this Elite Four. I am surprised, but I'm not trying to jinx myself. This could get. This could turn around real fast. Level 76. Garchomp is leveled up again. Gliscor is coming out next. For this, I think we're going to allow him to hit some water. Although I do think it has Earthquake, we will hope and pray we get a good attack off before it hits us with that. And it does take off Earthquake, which is gonna suck. It's probably gonna do a good amount of damage. It honestly might kill me. So I'm pretty sure Napoleon doesn't take Earthquake well. Actually, we don't lose. We don't lose it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Get out, boys. Nice. We are having a good time. Another level 76. Sandstorm rages on. Rhyperior coming out next. Another potential Earthquake user. So we'll fight that with our own Earthquake user.
Actually, I probably should have stayed in Napoleon because he has clogged with the water and grass. I keep forgetting I have Leafy on here to use too. Yeah, Earth Blade wasn't going to take it out. I, I, I should have. I don't know why I stayed in. Or I, I don't know why I went to my job. This could kill me. This could very well kill me. Although I am confident I will live this. And we don't. Whatever. That's fine. Garchomp is putting up a fight in this damn thing, you know what I mean? He'll be the MVP at the end of this if we can. One Leaf Blade should do the job. Second half of the Elite Four. Next time. <laughs> 